Hi, my name is Utkarsh and uh, I'm a final year integrated MSc physics student. And today I'm going to give a short presentation on determining whether a number is prime or not using A085. So let's get started. So let's have a look at the problem statement. So uh, what we have to do is we have to write an assembly language program to determine if a given number is prime or not using uh, 8085 microprocessor. So uh, what, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number which has only two divisors, one and the number itself. Otherwise, uh, if it has three or more divisors, it is a composite number. So what we do is that if the number is prime, we store a zero one value at the memory location, which stores the result, else we store a zero zero value. So uh, if a zero one value is there, we get to know that the number is prime, uh, otherwise the number is composite. So uh, let's have a look at an example now. So if we have uh, an in input of zero three H, uh, or three, which is obviously a prime number uh, as it has only two divisors, one and three. Uh, so uh, the output of our program uh, should be uh, uh, one, zero, one H. It should be stored in the memory location. Uh, uh, let's say we have a, a composite number. Uh, let's say we have nine, uh, which has three divisors, one, three, and nine. In this case, uh, the output uh, of the program should uh, give us the result 00, zero uh, H. So uh, now uh, we let's have a look at the algorithm of uh, how uh, it works. So uh, first we take uh, any given number as input, um, whatever we want to check uh, uh, the number as prime or not. Then we run a loop from i equals n to 1. And for each iteration, we check if i divides n completely or not. Uh, if it does, then i is n's divisor. And then we keep a count of the total number of divisors of n. And if the count of divisors is only 2, uh, then the number is prime. Otherwise, we can say that the number is composite. So uh, how do we find out if i is a uh, divisor or not. So for this, we keep subs subtracting i from the dividend till the dividend either becomes zero or less than zero. And then we check the value of dividend. If it's uh, uh, zero, then we can say that i divides it completely or i is a divisor. Otherwise, uh, there is some remainder and it's not. So that's how the algorithm works. Now we take a look at the steps at how the uh, algorithm works in GNU Sim uh, Simulator 8085. So first we load the data from the memory location, uh, let's say uh, 0000H uh, to the accumulator. Then uh, we initialize uh, the register C with uh, uh, 00H and this stores the number of divisors of n, the C register will store this. And then we move the value of the accumulator in the E register. And this value will act as an iterator for the loop from n to one. And then we again move the value in the accumulator in B and B will permanently store the value of n uh, because the value in the accumulator is going to change. And then we move the value in the uh, register E to D and perform division with the accumulator as the dividend and the value in uh, D as the divisor. So uh, moving on to the division process, we keep subtracting D from A uh, till the value in A either becomes zero or less than zero. And uh, after this, we check the value in the accumulator. Uh, if we find that it's equal to zero, uh, we increment the count of divisors by uh, incrementing uh, the value in C by one uh, as uh, the register C uh, uh, stores the count of divisors. And 
uh, after this process is done, we again restore the value in the accumulator by moving the value in B to A and continue uh, with the loop again uh, till E becomes zero. And now we move the number of divisors from C to A and check if it's equal to two or not. Uh, if it is uh, equal to two, then we store uh, zero one H uh, in the memory location zero 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 two H. Uh, can be arbitrary or else uh, we store a value of 00H. And uh, our final result is stored in the memory location 0002. So uh, those are the steps for the algorithm. Uh, let's have a look at the actual code. Uh, so here's the actual code. And uh, I have uh, explained the steps uh, already previously. Uh, I'll uh, go through them once more, just a quick overview. So uh, we load the data uh, from the memory location into the accumulator. Uh, then we initialize the register C with 00H and this register stores the number of divisors of N. And then we move the value of accumulator in E and um, this will act as an iterator uh, uh, for the loop from N to one. And we move the value of uh, uh, we move the value in the accumulator to B and uh, B will store uh, the value of N and then we move the value uh, in E to D and perform a division with the accumulator as the dividend and this value in D as the divisor. And then we uh, go through the uh, division process as I had uh, uh, explained earlier. We keep subtracting D from A uh, till uh, we get a zero or less than zero value in A. And we check the value uh, in A thereafter. If it's equal to zero, uh, we increment the count of divisors by one. And then we uh, restore the value of the accumulator by moving the value uh, in B to A and continue <coughs> with the loop till E becomes zero. And finally, we move the divisors from C to A and uh, check if it's equal to two or not. Uh, uh, if it is equal to two, we store a value of zero one H in this memory location. Uh, otherwise we store a, a value of zero zero H. So uh, that's how uh, the code works. So let me, uh, let me uh, show you how this program actually runs in uh, GNU Simulator 8085. So, uh, as you can see, here is the program, uh, uh, the exact similar program as shown in the slides. And uh, let's say I want to check uh, whether three is a prime number or not. So I input zero uh, three H here and uh, I assemble the program. And finally I execute the program. So as you can see uh, in the memory location zero 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 two, it gives me a value of one, which means that uh, three is a prime number uh, as explained in the algorithm earlier. Uh, let's say I want to check whether four is a prime number or not. So uh, I input the value of four here and uh, again, assemble and execute the program. So now you can see that the value changes to zero, uh, which means that four is not a prime number, uh, which obviously it is not as uh, it has got more than two factors. So uh, we can see that our uh, program runs successfully. So mm, that's the end of the presentation. Thank you.